even an eight out of 10 kind of almost seems low for how good this is. It's our wanted by night. Hey, what's up guys, this is Josh here. I just wanna do a little review today on Azara Wanted by Night. Now, Azara Wanted, the original, was one that I always kind of liked. I liked the bottle of it. I liked the quality of the juice, but it was always so expensive. And recently, or uh, when I bought this bottle, it actually was discounted for a very cheap price. I think about $30, $35. When they released Wanted by Night, I definitely did smell it right away. And it was one of those ones where it didn't blow me away. It wasn't something that I needed to get right away. People weren't getting these like crazy compliment stories with it. But compared to Wanted, I did enjoy Azara Wanted by Night a little more, and a lot of people have told me to review it, so I'll put some, maybe some comments on the screen too. I wrote up a list of pros and a list of cons, and then I gave it a full rating, and then kind of my, my suggestion with it. I did write down the notes, cinnamon, mandarin orange, tobacco, fruit notes, red cedar, incense, cedar, vanilla. I get that Azara Wanted style DNA kind of tuned up with a typical nighttime scent, like a 1 million Privé in there, a little bit of that spice bomb extreme in there it's even more of like a nighttime style version of the original wanted the pros this is enjoyable and unique there was times where it would smell a little bit like wanted the original but a lot of times it would smell like its own fragrance there'll be times where i'm wearing a fragrance i'll forget what i'm wearing for half a second and it's kind of nice because i could judge the fragrance based on the smell alone like i've completely forgot all the name the hype about it i just get to smell it i forget what it is and i'm like do i like that or not I, several times i got to smell them like I really like that maybe one out of, out of 10 maybe one out of 20 fragrances do I get that smell of like yeah I really like the way that smells it almost puts me in a little bit of a good mood when I smell something I like and that's what I got with this it's unique to a certain extent because it has a lot of that typical kind of nighttime DNA but it also has that Azaro Wanted in there there's a decent amount of uniqueness to the Azaro Wanted DNA already so this one is kind of like a combination of a good nighttime scent and Azaro Wanted so it's a little bit unique but at the same time we've smelled wanted we've smelled nighttime scents so in that sense it's not going to be groundbreaking but it's very very solid and done very very good very high quality bottle uh brand name and it's actually very cheap i think i got this between 35 and 40 dollars on ebay and i actually had ebay deal for five ounces of this stuff for 45 bucks so i was like man this stuff really did jump down in price i always enjoy a really good cheapie especially one that people know about going into the cons Ever since I started doing my pros and cons in my reviews, it's been funny that I haven't had too many cons. Maybe it's because I'm reviewing things that I like. I don't really wanna do reviews about, oh, like I just don't like this fragrance and drag it through the mud. But since I've started doing pros and cons, I haven't had that many cons on very many fragrances. Some of the only cons with this is that it's not perfect. Like when I smell this, it's not like, oh my goodness. This, I don't think of perfect or near perfect, but I do think of very, very good. Not like a seven out of 10 or a 7.5 out of 10 or or even an eight out of 10 kind of almost seems low for how good this is. This is very, very, very good, but not perfect. And that's what I put it as. Certain niche fragrances will have that smell of like, oh man, that's unique or that's luxurious or I haven't smelled that or that's so smooth, you know. This smells like a very, very, very good designer scent. So it doesn't really smell niche quality. It doesn't really smell perfect, but I actually really, really, really enjoy it, especially for the price range. Can't really wear it in the day. I would go with Azara Wanted, the original for more of a daytime scent. And for some reason that the original Azara Wanted reminded me of a morning. I don't know why it was one of the only fragrances that I think of the morning time when I wear it. I would give it a smell rating of between an eight to an 8.5, maybe just a solid 8.5 because I really, really do like this one. Likeability an eight, I do think it has a lot of elements that a lot of very likable fragrances have, and it is somewhat unique. I know that Azara Wax has gotten me compliments, and I know that this kind of nighttime DNA also garners a lot of compliments, so very, very good. I would say the uh, likability is about an eight. The longevity and projection, I would give probably about an 8.5. Very good for a designer style fragrance, usually designer style fragrances. This is kind of on the higher end of how long they'll last. And I would give it a solid 8.5. One of the days I wore it snowboarding, one of the places that really just rips a fragrance right off me. And I was getting consistent whiffs with this one. So 8.5 for longevity and projection. Honestly, guys, I really, really recommend checking this one out. 
mainly for the price if it's still this cheap in the future or where you live for about 35 40 dollars i think this is an excellent excellent fragrance this is one that i've actually thought about buying for gifts and things like that it doesn't really have too many weaknesses it is pretty unique it does last a long time it takes a lot of elements from good fragrances and it is cheap let me know what you think of wanted by night down below wanted i didn't like as much in the beginning but it did grow on me because wanted has such versatility in its projection it's not one layer it's got multi layers and that's why i liked wanted and i also like this one if you're looking for more of like a nighttime scent azara wanted by night more of a daytime azara wanted again these fragrances aren't perfect but i think they're well above average i definitely recommend you check them out let me know what you think of this fragrance down below let me know what you think of the video we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do without any of you guys' help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace Thank you.